thanks, John. Um, so first, um, two questions. First, will the American public eventually find out what these three unidentified objects are, including which companies they belong to or which specific benign purposes they had? We would like nothing better, but I can't sit here and promise you that we'll get to that level of fidelity of detail. Uh, a lot of it's going to depend on an, an ability to recover these three objects. And just to remind you, one's on sea ice in the uh, north of uh, n north of Alaska in Arctic conditions, extreme, extremely bad winter weather up there. They have not been able to really mount anything on the ice to find them now. The others in the Yukon Territory, thick wilderness, um, and as, as of today, I don't believe the uh, Royal Canadian, Canadian Mountain Police uh, or their investigative uh, 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 organizations have been able to get to it. And then the other one fell uh, over Lake Huron, uh, again, in very deep water. I think the Canadians have decided that they're not going to look for it anymore. I don't believe that the United States has, has made a call on that yet. So pretty tough conditions, going to be very difficult to find them, let alone once you find that debris, be able to do the forensics to identify it. So I, I can't promise you that we'll know definitively one way or the other question on um, President Biden, uh, Biden's talk with Xi Jinping. So as the administration is trying to ease tensions, um, the House Select Committee on China is trying to focus on human rights abuses by the regime by planning hearings, etc. on that topic. Will President Biden bring up human rights issues with Xi Jinping? The President never fails to bring up human rights concern. And when he met with uh, President Xi in, in uh, Bali, he brought it up then. Um, and it's not just with President Xi. The, the, the president believes that, that you have to lead with your values, particularly in foreign policy. He's never shy about bringing that up.